hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife uh, i thank you for always being part of this channel thank you so much my god will bless you for all your support thank you so much my god will always support you in all you do so my people uh information reaching us right now it is uh, alleged that uh, when Naomi's mother and brother disgraced Olori Mariam out of their house in Akure. Hmm. Okay, I we'll recall that was well, three days ago they said when Naomi, uh, sorry, Mariam went to Abuja to see when Naomi. <laughs> hey. Okay, well, according to the information, they said she went there apologizing to uh, when Naomi in the public telling her how she, uh, she should pray for her and how sorry she is and all of that uh, a lot of people reacted to this gist saying that uh, if it is true that she didn't uh, she did not need that prayers that she went there you know to finish what she started or to do one or two things of which we all know that uh, most of the times all, all we hear about her is all the bad bad things that she is doing hey, because me i have never heard where they said mariam did something good and everyone was applauding her mm -mm. i've never uh, hear that one so they said after that one now she went to akure recall that some time ago they said the elders from akure have uh, won the kbc to one mariam and the rest of uh, the oloris never to visit Queen Naomi again. Uh, that they should give Queen Naomi her space. Queen Naomi have left the palace for them. So they should stay in that palace and not following her around or tracing her or spying on her. So I don't know if the uh, king issued those, uh, the warning to them or it just died like that. That is if it is true because I will always remind you that they are all alleged information. So this time around, they said she went to Akure. And they said before she went there, after coming out from her hiding, because for some days, there was a rumor that uh, she is missing, or she was missing. But I don't believe she was missing. Maybe she just gave herself a break from all the buzzbows and all the troubles that they are making in that palace. So maybe from there, she came back. According to what we are hearing, we heard that uh, she came with some people, some women. I don't know if they are women from Ibira Kingdom or maybe her friends or maybe people that she thought the king would listen to. And they said she went to the king and begged for uh, her, uh, his forgiveness, promising that uh, she is ready to give him full support to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace that uh, all this while that she have been making mistakes that she don't know that the king is serious about uh, bringing Quenomi back and all of that that all this while she have been seeing Quenomi as her rival but she have realized that uh, her life can never be peaceful when the king is not peaceful so my people hmm. they said after all this summon from her because i see them as summon that is if it is true that the king uh, forgive her okay there's another rumor i heard from what they said toby said saying that uh, the king uh, uh, agreed to forgive her on one condition which is that she will go to that uh, abuja i don't know if that is why she went to abuja or maybe she went on her own because uh, later after that visit to abuja we heard this news about Toby exposing Mariam, saying that uh, she went there because they, uh, she agreed with the king that she will go there, beg with Naomi, and make it public so that with Naomi will believe that she is in full support because the king told her that the only condition that she's, she's going to forgive her and start showing her love again is if she beg with Naomi and allow him bring with Naomi back. So she said uh, they now agreed that was why they said she went to Akure. I don't know if it is true or not. 
that is what I was hearing. So after telling the king that uh, she is going to give him full support, as a matter of fact, that she have pledged uh, her support and love for Queen Naomi. So that now maybe she went to Akure to assure Queen Naomi that and all of that. But the drama there is that they said she did not even see Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi did not even give her order. She did not set her eyes on Queen Naomi or Tadenikawo, you know. But they said Queen Naomi's mother and brother threw her out of the apartment with a serious warning never to return back to the to uh, to that place or never to go close to Queen Naomi, even in her church or anywhere else. Otherwise, they are going to take drastic de decision against her. And recall that they have issued the king warning severally concerning this uh, visit by Mariam. Because we do know that nothing good comes from Mariam. Maybe she has come to take new pictures. Maybe the old pictures that it, she took to Babalao, according to what we are hearing, uh, we are rejected. Maybe she has come to take new ones. But whichever one, they say she did not set her eyes on Queen Naomi. But all I know is that even if she set her eyes, even if whatever that is her mission, if it is not good, it is going to haunt her. It is going to return back to her. Because I know that the God that Queen Naomi serve is a God of back to sender. Yes, any evil they plan against Queen Naomi will surely go back to the sender. And this this woman, this uh, 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 Mariam, I don't think she have shame, seriously. Because if all this that we are hearing are true about her always uh, offending and begging, that means she, does, she don't have self-value. She don't value herself and all of that. That is what I think about it too. So, but the thing is that they said they disgraced her. The way they threw her out, everyone we are looking at her, you know. I don't think she will ever return back to that Akure again from what we are hearing that they did to her, you know, that she came back with tears. And not just that, also heard that the king blasted her for going there because uh, they said before she could get home that the uh, Queen Naomi have called the king telling uh, him to put uh, his wives on leash that they shouldn't come close to her again. So, and maybe that is the reason why they said this the Mitobe and the <coughs> Toby have been begging the king to book an appointment with Queen Naomi so that they will go and uh, apologize. Why are they apologizing? Why are they apologizing? Queen Naomi have left the palace for them. Let them stay and enjoy the palace now. Eh? Now, they are running a uh, uh, helter skelter, running from pillar to pole. Anyways, now they are matao. So, my people, now so we hear them. Uh, don't forget that they are all alleged information. Okay? Please, give this video a thumbs up. And share. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget that I still love you. Bye for now.